Yep, found your cat. Yep. Anyway, hello. It is I, Biggs, and welcome back to Fallout 4. And we found her cat, and now she's gonna tell us where to get the thing that we need. Uh, so... Sure, you're welcome. I mean, honestly, I... Oh, cool, I got a fusion core... What? <laughs> cool, I got a fusion core back. <laughs> nice. Alright, yo. Talk to my mom. Okay, well, I guess I gotta talk to her mom then. <laughs> okay, well, her quest is done. So now I gotta find someone else to do a quest for. I haven't, no. I've not talked to anybody but her, honestly. Who? No, she just said, yo, if you want something fixed, uh, go talk to my mom, I guess. Uh, no. Uh, I'm stuck on a fucking wall. Duh! Huh? Pretty good tour, right? The overseer says I'm good with people. Yeah. Way better than Graham. But I don't know. I think Graham's pretty good. At least with me, she is. Sure, kid. That's definitely why I, I didn't quit the tour. Hello? Welcome. Welcome. I am here. Uh, oh, yeah, you wanted to talk I to me, didn't you? Yeah. But I'd like to ask you a favor. Would you mind... <sighs> Than just the blood sample. What? Excuse me? You want... Hold on. So, you meet a guy for the first time, and the first thing you ask him for is a blood sample. I mean, I know you're a doctor and everything, but... I think that's kind of weird. What do you... I mean... What... You hearing this guy? Just have a seat, just... and I'll draw some blood. Just don't take all of it, Doc. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm I, I'm just I'm kidding, but for real, just don't don't take it all. That'd be that'd be that'd be great. This will be a great help. Now, I need to get these prepared immediately. Uh, prepared for what? Excuse me. Hello. What do you need my blood for? Look. Doctor Forsyth. Is that all you wanted? Uh, apparently, because he's defaulted to defaults. Great. Well, he has my blood now, so, um... That's not ideal. But let's just try to forget about that. You're that wanderer from the Commonwealth. Yep, that's me. I'm Rachel. I assist Dr. Forsythe with his medical duties. Yeah, he took my blood. Sick or injured? Anything you can do? Yeah, you got it bad. Let's flush your system. It's gonna burn like crazy afterwards, alright? What?! What are you flushing my system with? Oh god, what is in that needle? Don't stick that in me! Done. Now, <laughs> Seven days later. <gasps> I'm dying! Get me out of this place! Alright, well, I talked to the doctor and all he wanted was my blood, so that was great. He took my blood. And, uh... Now I just have to feel uneasy for the next however long until he finally makes my evil clone, which is undoubtedly what he's trying to do. Who else wants me to do something? What do you want? Hope that pit boy belongs to you. Uh, well, actually it belongs to a guy that died 200 years ago. You gonna do something about it, Vault Security? You don't even have a name. Heh. <laughs> uh, I showed him. Hopefully 81 will quit her fussing long enough to give us folks a decent break. Actually, you know what? Let's see what this guy wants. Yo. Sorry, new guy. Not a lot of time to talk right now. Uh, okay. Later, then. Eh, who am I kidding? Not like I actually want to get back to work. <laughs> Tell me. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. Lots of upkeep, eh? There's a lot of upkeep going on right now. Been going through tools like they were going out of style, so if you got any, I'd be more than happy to take them off your hands. Sure. Here you go, son. You got yourself a deal. Stupendous. One less thing to bug the overseer about. Anyway, here I am running my mouth. Sorry I can't talk long. Yep, I'm not using that clip. Yo, overseer. You got anything for me to do? Because uh, your boy just stole the tools off me. You'll have the full run of the place. Hello, overseer. Feel free to make the most of the services we offer while you're here. Okay. 
right? Well, and this sultry light, that may have not, not have been the most, you know, unless that's what you mean. But that turn of phrase is kind of, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to go. Already. Yep, I'm going to, I'm going to go. How is Gwen doing as the overseer? It weighs on her, I can tell. They're a bit overworked these days. Some blame the overseer. But it ain't Gwenny's fault. What's up with your lips? Just landed the right position at the wrong time. Like, you guys, like, look at his face. You guys, hold on, wait. No, go back to him. Go back to him. Like, he had big eyes, like, wide apart, and, like, weird, like, puckered up little lips. Just, that, I, kind of makes him look like an alien. Like, uh, see, you? see, there it is. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, I best be getting back to. Yeah, you <laughs> don't <laughs> look, sir. Don't give me that. <laughs> don't look at me with those eyes. What? Are you drunk? <laughs> You're making me extremely uncomfortable, sir. Don't, don't you follow me? Get the hell out of here. Yep, I'm out of here. Who needs my help? Someone needs my help, I can tell. I can feel it. I can smell it in the air. Someone please need my help. Because if you don't, I can't get out of here. Do you need my help, officer? Yeah, alright, I won't try anything. Fine. See how it is. I hope you don't have anything that needs fixing. I really don't feel like working. <laughs> Hello, Hulk. So you're the new guy. I heard we let someone into the vault. Yep. How long do you plan on sticking around? Uh, I'm not sure. Why? Why do you want to know? I'll ask the questions. I'm the one that lives here. You have a right to know. <laughs> okay. All right, buddy. Uh, long enough. I have a good look around. Well, hopefully that means not long. Wow. We take care of ourselves here in 81. We don't need to be letting in every straight tavern that comes our way. <laughs> look, man. <laughs> Why are you so defensive? Why are you hanging out in this small room in the bottom of the vault? Why are you so muscular if you don't want to work? There are several things going on with you I don't understand. I can't be bothered with it right now. What an asshole. This guy is the perfect asshole. Wow. <laughs> Not for long, buddy. I'm fucking out of here. Look. Hold on. I need to do this. I'm sorry. <laughs> Rude fuck. God damn. Okay. <sighs> I feel better. What the? So that's the experiment of Vault 81. Teleportation. Hello. Hopefully you want something from me. Mm-hmm. Every waking Every moment. Waking moments an adventure out there. It oh sure my. is. I knew it. My kids would love to hear some of them. Would you be willing to talk to my class? Oh boy, I'm not a really great uh, public speaker. Uh, what? Uh, give me an outline here. What do you want? Nothing too violent. I'm sure they'll have lots of questions though. I said it so much. Uh, I, I mean, I didn't agree. I only asked what you wanted me to tell them, but sure. Just, uh, yeah, I guess. Why did you go over there and run into the wall and then come back to you? Oh, all right, cool. All right, yeah, sure. Hello, kids. I am a vault man. This is my gun that I will now put away. And this is my rocket launcher. Would you like to tell the students one of your stories now? Uh, what topic should I avoid? What topic should I avoid? <laughs> As I point this rocket launcher directly at your chest. <laughs> sure. Wonderful. The kids are so excited. Just maybe let me put this gun away. We have a guest today who is going to tell us Commonwealth. you ever find Uh just have my rocket launcher out now. Sure, alright. Um yeah, sure, with some help. One of the Minutemen helped me 
still want more. Cool. What happened? Well, it involves this rocket launcher. Uh, A group of raiders had my friend Preston trapped. But you rescued him, right? Darn right. Preston showed me where to find some power armor I could fix. Power armor! <laughs> Just like a crazy guy with a rocket launcher. Yeah, you're gonna listen to my stories if it kills me and all of you with me. Oh my god. Okay. Ready when the death claw crawled out. Good thing I had that power armor. That sounds scary. Sure was. Have you ever seen a death claw? No. Miss Katie says they're big lizards with huge claws. Don't stop now. One shot in each eye and one in the forehead took care of that death claw. Wow. You must be a good shot. Thank you so much for that story. Children, say thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And we have a thank you gift for you. Oh, good. Here. Oh, cool. A Grafnak comic. Nice. Critical hits with unarmed melee attacks permanently do plus 5% damage. Nice. I think I may have gotten too uh, graphic there. That's why they stopped me. Uh... Honestly, kids, you need to know this stuff. Don't go near death claws. They will wreck your shit, kids. And if there's anything you don't want, it's that uh, you don't want your shit to get wrecked. Peace. I noticed something uh, a little bit disturbing as I was walking out. I wish I had more material. All these kids are clones of each other with different hair colors and skin colors. I mean, these guys just have different hair or different skin. These two are literally clones, just different skin color. Maybe this is the real experiment of Vault 81. You're all clones, kids. I need to get out of here. That's where they wanted my blood! They're gonna make a clone. I knew it. I'm gonna blow the lid off this conspiracy if it's the last thing I do. Yo, Doc, what's the haps? Will I? I'm in need of a willing test subject to try this new strain of fruit I've created. Uh. Excuse? Why? It's a new strain of mute fruit that I just developed. It should be nutritious and remove radiation poisoning. So you mutated the mute fruit? Sure. Sure. I like fruit. Excellent. Just tell me how it tastes and how it makes you feel. Hmm. Now, where did you put that Geiger counter? <laughs> Okie dokie. Alright, well. Cool, I got a free mute fruit. Let's try it. Nom. Oh, it healed me a little bit, but it didn't take my reds down at all, so uh, you failed, Doc. Nice job. Oh, whoops. Uh, I took your corn. Hope you're cool with that. Since you've been so helpful, maybe you can help out in another capacity. Everyone wants these something. Carrots to conduct my study, and they take some special nourishment, especially mm -hmm. the carrots. Right, right. Keep mm -hmm. an eye out mm -hmm. for fertilizer while you're out Science. in the Commonwealth. I'll be more than happy to compensate you for your efforts. <sighs> how much how fertilizer? I Twenty-five caps, non-negotiable. I know how you outsiders enjoy your bartering, but I've never been any good at it. I mean, fair enough. At least you're up front. Sure, I can do that. Yep. Really? Great. I was dreading having to put in another request to the overseer. Yep, yep, yep. You can buy whatever you can find whenever you have the time. Cool, I can do that. And I know just where to get it. Well, howdy there, neighbor. Just thought I'd come by and, you know, see how you were doing. Thought I'd uh, borrow a cup of sugar. Is that okay? I figured it would be. Just, uh, you know, I figured I'd ask. So, uh, yep. Cool, got my sugar. See you later. Bye. Of course, she's not here. You, you're back. I'm not sure if you've spoken to Dr. Forsyth yet, but if you haven't, we really need your help. One of the children here is very ill. He's been uh -huh. by some creature. Uh -huh. We need someone with good combat training to help him. So oh. He knows the creatures of the Commonwealth. I'd like for you to please speak to Dr. Forsyth. Well. Sure. I'll see him immediately. Thank you. Dr. Forsythe should be in the medical center. I think we're about to get what we want.
But first, I need to get my fucking caps. Dr. Penske runs a hydroponic lab here. Yeah, I know she does. Have some work for you if you're yeah, she does have work for me, but she's not here to collect my delivery. Hey, everyone! I heard that you got a job for me. You are in here. You're supposed to be giving me money right now. Dr. Forsythe. Not now, Bobby. A new stranger will have to wait your turn. We have an emergency here. Austin got bitten by a mole rat. Isn't that enough, Jacob? There can't be that many mole rat diseases or toxins. Mole rat? Hopefully she'll find some. But these aren't ordinary mole rats. Uh-huh. Who knows what kind of diseases they are carrying. Because he's just a child, it's affecting him more severely. Dr. Forsythe, please. I think I found something that might help Austin. Bobby! Hold on, Priscilla. Jesus, she's getting <laughs> up in arms. Holy fuck. He found it because of me. Uh-huh. My private things in there. He saw me get them. You mean your chems? Get to the point, Bobby. What did you <laughs> find in that place? <laughs> this seems like a family affair. Should I be here? <laughs> I mean... There was this terminal there. So I started poking around. I can leave. Notes and stuff about using mole rats to grow viruses. Uh huh. People said that they use them to make vaccines and treatments. A secret vault. Good lord, I've never heard of such a thing. Bobby, you're a genius. A junkie genius. Oh, well, all right. Well, all right. He, he went from totally illegal to 100% hero. All right, cool. Uh. What do you need me to do? Save my boy, Austin. Oh, yeah, you said that. Okay. Uh. What's what about this vault? vault? Your guess is as good as mine. From what Bobby says, it might be a medical research facility. At least okay. It may be Austin's only chance. Bobby here will show you where he keeps his secret stash. There is a chance that somewhere in there is a cure for Austin. If you find it, bring it to Dr. Forsythe. And for Austin's sake, please hurry. Okay. All right, well, wait. wait. Junkie, wait. <laughs> Jesus. For a junkie, you run really quick. Okay, well, I guess that's why they made Austin give us the tour in the beginning. So we're supposed to have uh, a connection. So that I'll uh, get the thing that he needs and heal him. What are you doing? What? What? Excuse me? Did you just kick that wall and it went up? Hey, Bobby. Neck, not, not gonna, you're not gonna say anything. What is with your body, man? You look kind of. I mean, I guess you are. A, I guess you are a chem freak. All right. Anyway, uh, let's go. <laughs> Into the unknown. Woo! Dark in here. All right. Well, let's. Uh, well, no. Let's not get that out. <laughs> Let's not get that out. Alright, let's see what's in here. This place looks worse for wear. Doesn't even look like it's finished. Weird. Oh. Ah, oh, shit! Why would you do that? Fuck you! And fuck that! Well, hello there! <laughs> well, hello there! Yes, Codsworth. Arian, is that your... What? Excuse me? Where's that coming from? Is it coming from down here? Is that why you said, well, hello there? Nope. Alright, well, that's alright. Whew. That was scary. Luckily, I'm unscarable, obviously. I have complete composure. So, what, there was no... What? Hold on. Is there a doorway around here that got blocked? Because if there's not, then there's no... There's literally no way to get to that room other than through this broken wall. What the fuck is this architecture? <laughs> right, anyway, let fuck it. Let's go in. Oh, maybe there were like two vaults or something, and this was just the wall between vaults. Weird. All right, I'm down. I can handle it. Let's see what's in here. What do we got? We got some sort of terminal. Bottle cap. All right, let's see this terminal real quick. I'll cut this out. Remember to cut this out. Breeding program. That's gross. Uh huh. 109 distinct serums that can treat 36% of known viruses. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, this place has a drinking fountain. I've never seen a drinking fountain. Ah, oh Jesus! Distract me with a drinking fountain just to shoot me in the ass, I see. I'll get you. This is what you get. The drinking fountain was a distraction. Just, oh, oh, Jesus. It was a pretty damn good one, I guess. Because I am dead. Oh, that's embarrassing. Nothing. <laughs> I talked to Calvin, the fucking, like, repairman, and he was just like, Hey, I can't talk, I got work to do. And I was like, okay, well, maybe later. And he's like, hey, actually, you know what, I hate working, talk to me. And I was like, wow, alright, you <laughs> could have just told me that in the first place, what's up? And he's like, oh, nothing. Got some tools? <laughs> yeah, can I have them? Sure. Thanks. Now get out of here. I got work to do.